Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Merch Box Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and you wouldn't really know that I was trying to build the Ultimate Merch Box Car Collection. If you could see to my left, your left as well as it happens, um, because there are only a couple of Matchbox cars here to show you today. This is a challenge issued by Diecast Looney, Michael over there in Cornwall, United Kingdom. He's issued a challenge of hubcaps. Show us your hubcaps. So I will. Starting off today's show, there are two, four, six, eight cars to show you, all with hubcaps. This is um, from the Lesney collection, or Lesney editions, I can't remember. Uh, 2006 copyright, and it's the Austin Mini Van, 19... 65 we'll stab in the dark hat little mini panel van metal on metal but with those gloriously stylish hubcaps sticking with police but not with matchbox i was going to show the uh the older police car i have of this but michael already did that on his show so i thought i'd I'd mix it up a bit. This is, of course, the 2008 Crown Victoria from Greenlight. One of my all-time favourite castings, period. Fantastic. And, of course, we have the poverty caps or dog dish hubcaps. Magic. I bought every one of these I found when they were uh, current. Wound up with maybe ten of them. It's a bit extreme, but, you know, when stuff gets real, you need a police force, don't you? We'll stick with green light, stick with Crown Vic, this one in the taxi livery. I did a jigsaw puzzle with, um, I think it was of Times Square, but I happened to have half a dozen of these beauties in the street part of the, the photo. And... Uh, it's the same with anything, isn't it? You do the edges of a jigsaw puzzle, then you do the good bits, and then you don't care anymore. My wife finished that jigsaw puzzle after the taxis were done. Good honour. So, same hubcaps, exactly the same casting, except for the details. Uh, should we go with Ertl? Why not? This was a gift from uh, Joe at XLT Off-Road Bear in New York State. Um, plastic base on this one, but isn't it funky? Um, again, poverty caps, you've got the color-coded steelies to match the bodywork, and then the poverty caps over the top. Blue on blue, and being a nurtle, you get the boot. With a suspicious-looking suitcase in the trunk as the Americans call it. So yeah, I like that. Big ties, I'm not sure if that's accurate to the piece, but I like it. Next, Auto World. Again, poverty dishes, but don't they look spectacular? You've got the steelies and then those center caps to top it all off. Dodge Challenger from, from uh, Auto World and the Slightly on the plonk engine. I'm sure it's supposed to be like that. There was some debate in the comments when I first showed this on uh, my other channel, Ultimate Diecast, where I show lots of things like this, but not Matchbox. Um, whether or not the engine should be on the plonk. Um, debate reigned. Uh, the last Matchbox I have to show you, but not the last car, is of course the little Capri. Um, fairly new release, 1970 Ford Capri. It's been around for, what, two years? If? That was the original in silver. Lovely little number. And throw it out there with a bit of Biante. I was stalled for a few seconds because I couldn't remember who made this. <laughs> Biante made this, don't you know? Again, the poverty caps over the top of color-coded steelies. Just a really nice look. And this is the old Holden sedan. 
Anthony's a nice brand. I wish they were still around because their cars would be a bit cheaper than they are. And last but very not least, it's a Tomica uh, vintage Neo thingy. Um, what do they call it? Yikes, it's been a long day. I actually saw um, Michael's video first thing this morning over breakfast and I thought, oh, a challenge. And he did mention it was a no-brainer, so I thought, yeah, he's talking my language. But now it's like many, many hours later and it's very late at night, so forgive me if uh, my mind slips like an old gear. Um, Tomica Limited Vintage, I knew it would come to me. See, you stall enough and the answers come. Beautiful looking Cedric from Nissan or Nissan as I would call it and those beautiful hubcaps hubcaps can really make a car can't they until you go over the level crossing of the railway and one flies off I used to be a taxi driver I'm not sure if I told you I probably did and uh, I was out at uh, one of the night spots in Perth in uh, Leaderville actually uh, very close to the city where revelers party and uh, I was waiting for one of the nightclubs to fling open their doors and fill my car with paying guests <laughs> and uh, a policeman pulled up behind me and got out and looked over the taxi with his torch and he said uh, noticed you were missing a hubcap you know I can book you for that and uh, I said, it's not really impeding the performance of the car, is it? And he says, well, you've got three, which means you're supposed to have four and you're missing one. And I uh, curtly told him that I hope no one was breaking into my house while we're out here discussing the fourth hard cap on my taxi. He let me off with it, with a few more snide remarks, and on his way he went. And, uh, yeah, that's my history with hard caps. <laughs> Suspension on that little baby. That's a fantastic little number. Well, there it is, my contribution to Diecast Learney's Hubcap Challenge. I hope you check him out. I'll leave a link down in the description below to his channel. Do me a big old favor and head on over and subscribe to Michael's channel. He does a lot of stuff like this, but uh, also restos, um, wheel swaps, modifications, giveaways, you name it, he does it. Really nice channel. So check them out. Bye.